thank you for buying this inflator from Fixture Displays. This is the main machine. And then you have the components. These components are not all supplied. The belts are additional items to purchase. Also, the, these are the belts that you can purchase when your old one wear, wear out. This is the uh, friction belt for uh, that work with the belt as well. It is self-adhesive. One side you can glue to the machine and the other side would provide fr friction. The additional uh, blades are also something you can purchase as an option. And your machine does come with one blade already installed. This machine is really nice that allow your operation to inflate your own bubbles and therefore save a lot of space and money over time. The two Allen wrenches, the cable, are all provided with the machine. Also, you would have a support bar that comes with the machine purchase. Once again, the consumables are not part of this listing. We do sell everything, um, including the bubble. Uh, the bubble wrap are additional purchase. To install the support arm, it's fairly straightforward. Just screw it in. And toward the end, you want to use the Allen wrench to go through uh, the hole. It's a through hole. As you go through the hole with the Allen wrench, you just turn the support arm until it locks tight. Our email address is cs at fixture displays, cs at fixture displays. Now right under there, there is a bottom plate. That is a plate you should pull out to provide more balance. Now in this video, the operator didn't do that. Uh, and as you can see, the under the weight of the bubble wrap, it will uh, you know kind of lose its balance. So that's important you pull the bottom piece, the green piece out to provide that balance. Now connecting the cable is fairly intuitive. The machine does not consume a lot of the electricity, so your regular power outlets to work. It works on a 110 volt service. Then you turn it on. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 630-296-4190. Identify the side where would this it will slide into the filling nozzle. Slide it through carefully until you hit the, uh, the belt assembly. Then you're going to uh, press the forward button, feed button, and then also turn the machine on the button, the green button on top of the stop um, unit. And then once the temperature heats up to a level predetermined, it will start to fill. And then you can press stop anytime. If you wish to adjust the temperature, press the plus and minus sign together until it blinks. Then you can reduce or increase the pressure. Now we're gonna show you how to replace the belts. There are four screws, two on the top, two at the bottom. If you like our products, we can always use a good review. If you have any issues, we're here to help. Once again, our email is cs at fixture displays.
And phone number is 630-296-4190. So you have the top and bottom belt. By pushing the uh, subassembly forward, the belt loosens up. Then you can slowly nudge the belt off the wheel. Remember the top wheel turns clockwise and the bottom wheel turns counterclockwise. You can turn the wheel to assist installing or uninstalling, but you should consider turning the way it's designed to rotate versus the other way. Now you will know when to replace the belt. That's when the, uh, uh, the feet becomes difficult and then slide. This particular piece acts as the rubberish grip for the belt. And when your belt kind of just rotates and not doing its job, that's when you should consider replacing that as well. Now we're going to show you how to put the new belt on. It's a little tedious, uh, but once you get a hang of it, it's fairly straightforward. Sometimes uh, it, it may be better off to install on the bottom side. Uh, it's really depending on your uh, your experience and and just finding your, your the way that you're most comfortable with. Once again, you can rotate the wheel to assist assist the installation. Again, the top wheel turns clockwise and the bottom wheel counterclockwise. So you want to adjust that, push that, rotate that, make sure it's uh, fitting pretty snugly properly and the tension is even before you uh, put the cover back on. Now, if you uh, start to need any other components for replacement, feel free to contact us. We'll do our best to assist you. To change the blade, you'll notice, notice there is a screw on top of a black uh, knife assembly. You turn that counterclockwise. That should allow you to remove the subassembly with the blade in it. And really be careful, don't uh, uh, hurt yourself. There's another screw. You can uh, undo that. There is a small, very small washer. Make sure you don't lose that. Operate this, uh, you know, over a box, a container. So if anything falls, it falls into the container versus, versus fell over a dirty factory floor that may make it hard to locate. This is a very essential piece. So do not lose that. Now you install the new blade the washer, and then the set screw. Fixture displays also supply sealing tape, uh, tape guns, and many other packaging materials. Feel free to contact us. So this is how it looks like, and make sure uh, you better off take a picture before you uninstall the knife, and to make sure when you put it back in is the, uh, the you know, correct orientation. We're going to try to zoom in. There is a very narrow slot, or better put a slit, in the metal bar. That's where the, the blade should go through. So make sure you do it gently, carefully, to ensure that it is uh, properly aligned. And you can tie also by knowing that the subassembly is flush with the uh, body of the uh, the inflator on that uh, very ledge, right right under that ledge. Then you can put the screw on again. Now, while we look at this unit on the there are two control knobs. Uh, one is red, one is blue. Uh, the red controls the speed of uh, uh, of inflation, uh, how fast it feeds, and then the amount of air controls how much air is in the bubble. You may want to uh, inflate more or less. That's something you can adjust to the a level that you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can start to put the covers back on. The one with the warning label face up and the two holes aligned to each other. Once again, I want to point out the uh, supporting bracket at the very bottom, lower left. You can pull that out to provide added balance. You can certainly, if you want to keep this machine stationary, not, not move at all, you can consider drilling uh, into the bottom of the unit uh, through a tabletop of some sort. But uh, before you do so, make sure you, you contact us to find a, um, a safe spot to do so. The bracket, uh, the pull-out bracket at the bottom should be the best way to operate. Once again, we want to thank you for shopping Fixture Displays.